Hi guys, today we're going to look at how to solve a common mistake that's often made when processing input from a gamepad in Unity. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. If you find this tutorial useful, please don't forget to click like and subscribe, and if you'd like to support us and get access to the source code, you can find us on Patreon. Right, we're going to start with the project we created in our character rotation video. In this video, we created a character that can move around our scene based on input from the keyboard or the gamepad. The problem is that the character always moves at the same speed no matter how far we move the gamepad thumbstick. There is no difference between moving the thumbstick all the way in a direction and moving it a fraction. This probably isn't what we want. In most games, the character's speed will reflect the thumbstick movement. For example, the character may walk slowly when the thumbstick is moved a fraction and run when it is moved all the way. Right, let's look at our script to see where we're going wrong. We're getting the input from the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. These input values will range from minus 1 to 1 and will correctly reflect the movement of the thumbstick. For example, if the thumbstick is halfway to the right, the value of the horizontal input will be 0 0.5. We then create a vector from these input values for our movement direction. Then we normalise this vector before moving the character in this direction. The problem is actually introduced in this line where we normalise the vector. We added this line to stop the character moving faster when travelling diagonally, which it does, but it causes this unwanted side effect. To understand the problem, let's look at what actually happens when we normalise a vector. If our vector is 1 on the x and z axis, then the magnitude of our vector is 1.414. Normalising a vector maintains the direction but sets the magnitude to 1. So, in this scenario, normalising our vector will reduce the size on the x and z axis to 0 0.7, making the magnitude 1 while maintaining the direction. This gives us what we want and ensures our direction vector doesn't have a magnitude greater than 1. Now let's look at this scenario. If our vector is 0 0.5 on the x and z axis, then the magnitude of our vector would be 0 0.707. If we normalise this vector, it will increase the size on the x and z axis to 0 0.7 in order to set the magnitude to 1. This is what's happening with our gamepad input. No matter how small the thumbstick input value is, the normalisation will increase the magnitude to 1. Let's go back to the code to see how we can fix this. We still want to normalise the vector, as a direction vector should have a magnitude of 1. But before we do, we'll store the magnitude. We can then multiply by this magnitude when moving our character. So if the magnitude is 0 0.5, our character will now move at half the speed. The final thing we need to do is ensure our magnitude is never above 1. To do this, we'll limit the magnitude to a range of 0 to 1 by using the clamp 0 1 method. Let's save the game and switch back to Unity. We'll press play to try this out. Now when we partially move the thumbstick in a direction our character moves slowly. And when we move the thumbstick all the way it moves at full speed. Ok that covers everything for this tutorial, hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys.